Hey guys, it's Susan. It is Friday. Woo woo. And wow, it's like day 15 post surgery for me. And I am sitting outside of Oklahoma City's Mercy Coletta Cancer Center, which is where I have to go to get my medical massages or manual lymphatic drainage. And I just finished um, session like one, two, three, four, five after my surgery. And um, enjoy, I always enjoy going. Of course, you guys are not gonna be surprised that I talk my therapist's leg off. She's more than a therapist, she's a therapist. <laughs> um, anyway, so today when I went in, um, my left leg is weeping a little bit, just like out of one of the incision sites. It's not bloody, it's just yellow lymphatic fluid. And she worked on that for a long time. Um, she said that my legs look better today. So because I've been using my Flexi Touch pump, I upped my compression back to the absolute support, the one that I was sent home with. Um, I'm going to order like two more pairs of them, maybe a tan, maybe one more black, so that I can just start wearing them with outfits. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, uh, walking, flexi touch pump, and upping the compression, and I've just been staying in it, right? So um, I was going to tell you, the, so I've been coming to this place now for since uh, 2019, and I went for a while whenever I first got a lymphedema diagnosis, right? And didn't know that I had lipedema and that there was anything I could do with it. And I was just going to tell you, I was really angry when I came here the first time. And I sometimes remember that when I leave the cancer center. Like, I was mad because why am I having to come to the cancer center? I don't have cancer. You know, I'm not a cancer patient. And I went for, I don't know, six treatments, something like that. And then I quit. And I remember thinking to myself, I can manage this myself. I'm not a cancer patient. I'm not coming here anymore. And what I have learned with this disease is it's like your bills are still there, even if you don't open the mail kind of thing, right? We all know people who do that. They just set it aside because they don't have money. The disease will progress if you don't do anything about it. And so um, this is part of my embracing the disease is like, hey, Yep, I have to go to the cancer center to get treatment. This lady knows what she's doing and it's turning into an enjoyable experience and it is okay and you don't have to be angry. So, um, I'm working through that. I'm not angry about it anymore. It's just something that's been dealt with me and you deal with it. But I think that there might be other people out there who are feeling that anger. Like, why me? I didn't do anything to deserve this. No, you didn't. You absolutely didn't. Um, but I do know that if you don't open the bill, that you still owe the payment, right? So the, it's still going to do its thing. And don't avoid it. Um, don't don't skip wearing your compression and doing all the stuff because it's not going to help things out. So hopefully that helps somebody um, know that everybody struggles with, with these kinds of feelings of just like, Ugh, I don't want this anymore. You know what I mean? I just want it to be done. But that's not what cards we were dealt and so we have to do it so that we can stay healthy and mobile it's all about being mobile and a tiny little bit about looking good in shorts right not gonna lie okay um anyway happy friday and i thank you guys again for all of the messages and just really cool things and today i'm gonna give a shout out to my sweet surgery butter buddy hunter who um is hopefully recovering and feeling a little bit better today. Uh, thank you for supporting me and sharing with me what you're going through day by day because I think we're going through a lot of the same stuff and you just seem to have had, um, your recovery's been a challenge and I'm thinking of you today and thank you. So see you guys later. Have a good weekend. Bye.